When setting the cursor position inside a Cubase, don't be that person that clicks around up here in the ruler. Let me show you how to do this properly. If you head over to Edit, then Preferences, I'm going to show you two useful features. The first one is in the Editing tree under Tool Modifiers. Click on Select Tool, and then here where it says Set Cursor Position, if it's not bound to a key, click on the box and assign it to something like Shift and Alternate. This means if we hold shift and alternate and click anywhere on our screen, depending on what the grid settings are, the cursor will snap to the position. Now, here's the next one. Go to edit, then preferences, and then under transport, you'll see a box here called locate when clicked in empty space. If you check this, click apply and OK. Wherever you click your mouse by default will set the cursor position. However, this will not snap to the grid. Make sure you're clicking in an empty space because if you have many events going on and you're trying to do this, it will only just select the events. If you want to set the cursor, use your shift and alternate version. Hope you found this useful.